Hey everyone, Rob here, and I have some updates on Grimsvat, which is the second volcano that we're looking at possibly erupting within the next couple of days. Now, this is all according to volcanologist Thorvald Thorson. Now, he was saying that eruption in Grimsvat can be expected in the coming days or even weeks. Now, we know from my previous video, and it's been in the news, that the aviation color code over the volcano was changed to yellow yesterday. You can see it to the right here underneath this Vatnajökull glacier. Now, this, because it's under a glacier, has the possibility to put ash up into the atmosphere and, of course, affect air traffic. Now, all of this upgrading the color code is due to unusual tremors and things like that. Thorvald, he says, one of the most surprising things is that it hasn't erupted yet. Because in a normal sort of cycle, Grimsvat erupts once every 10 years, and even more often than that from the last eruption. Now, the last eruption was in 2011. It was actually unusually large, he says, so it may have taken a little longer to fill back up. Now, the earthquakes are an indication that magma is moving and an eruption can be expected at any time. So, Valder, he's, again, talking with VCO of the News, who's saying that he thinks days and maybe weeks, but not much more. He doesn't expect Grimsvat to have a big eruption, and they're usually fairly small, Start with a decent amount of power. You create a plume of ash that goes up to the height of 13 kilometers. But in the next three to four days after that, it fades away and uh, is mostly just confined to around the glacier area. So it's not going to affect settlements or anything like that. Because, I mean, if you, if you can see here, it's uh, it's pretty isolated to the you know east of Iceland. East-ish, southeast. The plume of the eruption can, however, reach a new or reach a height of 10 to 13 kilometers, as he said, and then you have reached the height of planes and, and air traffic. So naturally, it's necessary to warn planes of the imminent danger that can be caused by the eruption in Grimsvat, which is, again, why they probably changed it over to a yellow. It says there's little news from Reykjanes, of course, slight seismic activity, and, uh, of course, we know that from the earthquakes that happened just a couple days ago. And uh, all of this seismic activity in Reykjanes has slowed down a bit, but it also happened before the last eruption. So he's thinking it's going to possibly making headlines in the near future. Now, again, just to recap, the flight color code for Grimsvatn has been moved up to yellow. So now there are two different volcanoes. We have the Reykjanes one in the left corner here by Keplavik. And then we have, of course, Grimsvatn, which just happened. Uh, and this was all upgraded because they had a series of earthquakes that uh, is typically unusual in this time. So it's a bit outside of the the normal the normal activity that they find in Grimsvat. So they can fly over, and there's no real reason to to sort of stop air traffic over that area. Uh, but he says people should be kept in mind that something can change in a short period of time, although. The tremors are not large. You know, we're looking at between one and two magnitude earthquakes. Um, it's it's standard for them at that point to start raising the flight color code. This volcano is one of the most active volcanoes in Iceland. And again, there hasn't been an eruption since 2011. And typically it erupts every 10 years. And that's been going on for quite some time. So we should have seen one a couple years ago. Now we're in 2024. Odds are this is going to be the year. Of two eruptions, one in Grimsvat, and then of course the Reykjanes Peninsula, we're guessing as well. So that's the update on that. Again, Thorvaldur coming out and saying, prepare for an eruption any day for both the Reykjanes Peninsula and Grimsvat. So thanks so much for listening and watching. And uh, if I miss anything, throw it in the comments.